Hello there. I'm going to do something a little bit different today and see how I, it works out. I've got a piece of my signboard again attached to one of my calling racks and I've covered it with um, titanium white paint from the Renault Art brand. And I'm just going to make something like a tree branch with blobs for flowers something similar to that to um, see if I can make uh, a, a do a reverse dip on it and get a nice bright um, uh, flower type picture I suppose um, my colors today I'm using a black red blue gold pink green turquoise and yellow I will pop the, put them out properly onto the video when I edit it. So I'm going to now start putting those colours across the uh, board randomly to see what I can make. That'll do for the colours. I'll just get rid of a few of the bubbles and then I'm going to get my piece of plastic wrap and put it across this, uh, press it down to get rid of the air bubbles and then lift it. It's very hard to stop this stuff from 
clinging to itself but I'm go now going to put it over my picture and hope it goes down reasonably straight. Good. It's not bad at all. I've got a few creases which are to be expected. Rather than pushing them down I might start out by just pulling the plastic wrap tight, actually stretching it out to be able to get rid of those air bubbles. I'm not too worried about them in the white. I'm more worried about making sure I get rid of them in the colours so that the colours get picked up nicely and cleanly and of course with the lovely smudgy effect that I'm looking for. And when I have picked up the plastic wrap I'm going to tilt the board to see what sort of a design I can get. Time to lift the plastic wrap. So instead of doing it corner to corner, because of the length of the board, I'm going to lift it from one side to the other. And stretch it as I go. Stretch it out. Oh, it wants to stick to itself. This is so much fun. Right, so I need to grab it separately. Stretch it hard and lift. Oh my goodness. Well, that's kind of what I'm after with all the multiple colours. But um, I really need to see if there are any cells first because I did add silicone to some of the colours. I will also put that up on the video when I edit it. Right, I'm just going to leave it for a couple of minutes to see if there's any further cell development before I tilt it. tilt now see how well I can stretch this out and what sort of patterns I can come up with it really is pretty I'm loving the colors very happy with the way the uh, plastic wrap stretched the paint out uh, to make it the fluffiness that I like so much just beautiful. I'm loving it. I don't want any more cells than what I already have so I'm not going to torch it again. There are a few bubbles in it but they will just hopefully pop themselves as the painting is drying. That is just gorgeous. I see multiple butterfly wings in here. That to me looks like the shape of a butterfly wing. 
and then we've got the shape coming out here and another one going round that way just gorgeous I love it love all the colors very very pleased with this so now I'm going to bring it up closer to the camera to show you in the light how beautiful those colors are just gorgeous and how happy I am with that there are more cells than what I expected uh, but not as many as would have made it uh, not so pleasing for me so I'm very very happy with that and the colors are mishmash basically of colors but just beautiful next time I try this I will probably try it with less colors I'll do a more minimal minimalistic one but that's it for me very happy with the way that has come out once again thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time